All right, I had a few people asking how I wired up my humidity controller after I posted my last video. So this is my controller that I'm using. You can see that it gives you the breakdown here, the pins. Uh, the sensor goes to these three, power coming in goes here, power to your load. And I wired this up to be pretty modular so that I can plug and unplug different humidifiers if they die. So, all right, so you, you wire up your sensor for whatever your controller says. And now power, I put a separate power cord on here and get it up here. I've got one power cord, which is powering this. Now you could jumper it around and only have one power cord to do the whole thing, but that's not how I did it. I wanted to have separate plugs. And then your power to your load source, I've got another power cord coming in here. Okay, one side of this power cord, if you can see it, goes right there to one side of the electrical outlet. Now, the other side here goes over to one side of the relay on the controller. The other side of the relay here, this white wire comes out and connects to the other side of the electrical outlet. Now this means, using a humidifier like this, if I can get back far enough where you can actually see it, I'm using a room humidifier to control the humidity in the incubator. Now this controller and the switch are turning on and off the power to the humidifier. Now, using an electrical outlet like that, you can just plug your humidifier right into it. Otherwise, you got to cut your power cords off, your humidifier, and wire it in here. Um, I did it like this just in case, you know, the humidifier dies. I can switch it out real easy. No big deal. And then, man, that's pretty much your wiring for this. This is pretty simple. This, When this relay kicks on, it lets the power from this power cord to the outlet actually let power flow there. Now with the humidifiers for an incubator, okay, some people may argue this, but I think you should use a cool mist humidifier. It uses sonic vibrations to just burn the water into vapor. It doesn't boil it, doesn't heat it up like a warm mist vaporizer. So when you tube it, whatever you got to do for your humidifier, it's just a tube I made that goes right into the side of my, my incubator. This thing has a fan in it that pushes that, that uh, mist right through the tube and right into the incubator. With the cool mist, it'll push that steam in there, or that mist in there, and it doesn't uh, hit a cooler environment than it is, and so it doesn't condense and then drop water all into the incubator. Um, with the warm mist, when I played with it, what would happen is the warm mist would come out, it'd go through the tube, it'd get into the incubator, but the incubator would actually be cooler than the air coming out of the humidifier, and so the thing would actually condense and just, instead of staying kind of in a mist form in the incubator, it condense out on the bottom. So that's why I, I suggest using a cool mist. And then, I mean, the cool mist uses less power, I think, too, and uh, just works out better.